Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and Wellington and Luna. Luna, you be nice to him. Okay, okay. Come here, Luna. Come here. Come on. This is Luna dog, Sarah's little girl. She's spoiled rotten. Okay. I have a Dollar Tree haul for ya. Um, a little health update real quick for Wellington. He went to the vet, he has two bacterial things going on in his ears, so he does have medicine for that. They did his senior blood work, his heart enzymes did not come back so good, so I need to call tomorrow and schedule an appointment to try to get his blood pressure taken to see what's going on with that, and then we'll go from there. So that's kind of a bummer. He's 14, but you know, she said his his kidneys and everything look really good. No diabetes. It's just that his heart enzymes were way like 500 and they should be under 100. So we got to get him looked at. But I know you guys love my boys as much as I do. All right. Dollar Tree haul. I did a few Dollar Trees. Again, not a lot of stuff out just quite yet, but it's getting there. But I did find this bag at my store and I love it. Um, I just plain black over here. You got the cobwebs. I love it. I think this is super fun and it will make a great gift bag for somebody. So I grabbed that. Um, they did come out with some flocked Christmas trees and I really loved these for my kitchen. I think they're magical and they will go with my gingerbread theme that I'm working through. Oh, this one is loose. I'll have to glue that back in there. It's not a big deal, but I will. Oh, now this is not for you. It's one of the cat toys. Go get your baby. Not that baby. Go get your baby. All right. Ma'am, ma'am. Anyway, I got these. I'll glue that one back together. I love this. I love the flocked feel of it. Thank you. Please. And then I found this, it's, I don't, it's a tea light holder. I know what it is, but it's very cheap metal. So when you get, if you get one, just be careful. If it's bent in the wrong shape, you can bend it right back. It's a turkey. I thought it would be really cute just to put out somewhere and put a little tea light in it. I love it, but it is fragile. So keep that in mind. Hold on, I need to get rescue the cat. Okay, I'm back. I had to grab her toy. I picked it up today. She loves these little lamb chops and this one has a witch's hat and they had one with some um, uh, Satan ears. What are they? Devil ears. Devil ears. Um, but she loves these. They're just her size. I get them at Target all the time for $2.99. So that's perfect. Um, I picked up another bag of these. These are great for me personally. Um, the size is great to take when I pack my lunch and I do have to pack my lunch one day this week. So I grabbed a bag to take with me to work. And then for my trip, I grabbed some lunch bags. These are Arthur sandwich bags. I didn't really care what they had. It was the only ones at my store. Arthur is adorable though, don't get me wrong. But these are a great size snack bag um, when I'm traveling because I'll go to the grocery store and get some snacks or bring some from home to have for my sugar-free problem. And so I just grabbed, and there was 35 in here. And I don't care about the quality too much because they're only gonna be used one time. Here, girl, go get your toy. There you go. Okay, then I found, um, they had the gingerbread people. I don't know, I want this for my kitchen, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it sparkly like this or if I'm gonna get some felt or maybe some twine or yarn and redo it. I don't know, I like them the way they are. So why make myself extra work? That is the question that begs to be answered. But I thought they were adorable um, for my kitchen and I think they would look cute. I do, I liked, to do my kitchen the last couple years in gingerbread theme. And so we will continue that this year. So I grabbed those. I made some gingerbread last year, people's, but I might have tossed those. I'm not 100% sure on that. Get your toy. 
And every this is just a mixed bag because every store had a little something different. Um, I grab these for labels. If I make homemade things or whatever, it's nice to have labels. And I love black with white ink. Um, I saw some new Christmas lights this year. And I always buy these and I never use them. But I really need to use them. But I thought these were super fun because they have the snowflake. And I can actually put these out at winter time after Christmas. Um, and do like a snow theme for winter. I always kind of run out of things after I put all of Christmas away, but I do love winter. And so I thought snow themed would be fun. I could just put these on my mantle. I'm trying to put them back together. Um, I could put them on my mantle with some snow stuff. I grabbed some hair clippies since I'm letting my hair get a little longer. These are Goody brand. I use these fairly regularly, but I also lose them. And I don't have a lot of hair. I mean, I have longer hair, but it's not thick, so the little ones work better. These are black and brown, and these are black, brown, and white if I want to try to get a little bit more of my hair up into a clip. So I just grabbed these to have. I don't really have a lot of hair stuff um, at this point in my life. I found one more bag of the Junior's coffee for a, a little stocking stuffer gift for somebody that I ordered a cup for, and this will fit with that. And this, I love the size of these bags because they will fit right into a mug. This would be perfect in the snowman mug with maybe some candies or something, a gift card. I don't know, but I have a person in mind for that. Um, I picked up one of these. I just want to see how it does on my... my um, heat press and to attach these Dollar Tree and use an actual heat press to see if it sticks. So I just grabbed this one. They've been coming out with more of the heat transfer stuff, so I just wanted to check it out. Um, I found at this particular store a couple more Christmas things and I'm really digging these. Now this one has a ton of glue all over it, but I don't mind cleaning them up. And they're light up, but I love that they're so vintagey. So you could light them up or not. And these were the only two colors at my store and they look metal, but they are 100% plastic. Oh, I love them. I love them. And since I need smaller things for my mantle or for a tiered tray, I think these lanterns are perfect. You could even put these in a wreath, like in the center of a wreath and light it up. That would be awesome. So I know these things that come out early tend to go fast. So I would definitely, can you not lay on my trees, ma'am? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they tend to go faster and sometimes I don't necessarily see them coming back if they've been out early. So if you see them, grab them. Same thing with this little sign. I think this is gonna be perfect for a tiered tray. My tiered tray is pretty big, so this will be excellent to put on the front. And it just says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. You can obviously pop this out, put anything you want in it, but I think it's pretty perfect the way it is. And it's just gonna go, oh, well this one has some glue. I don't care, it has some glue on it. I'll put it in that way. But I thought these were pretty good, and they're just the uh, wood signs. I'm trying not to buy too many wood signs because I don't typically use all the wood signs that I get. So there's that. Um, I was pretty darn excited to find these. Now, they had them with all different tops. You can tell the difference here. But I wanted the height more than I wanted diff the same at the top. So I figured that's okay. And the bottoms are a little different. But the color is the same. And I have the same candles I want to put in them. I saw these in the fall. With early fall, end of summer at Target Dollar Spot for $3 a piece. So I got them for $1.25. And I, it doesn't bother me that they are different. The color will tie them together and the candles will tie them together but I liked the different height that they come in. So I grabbed two of those um, and I have one candle already on my mantle. I also found the Jim Beam coffee. I got two more in vanilla to share um, with some people. I'm just gonna give it to them. It's not necessarily for a gift. 
So I will tell you, and maybe you didn't think about it because at first I didn't think about it, but originally the person that I was going to get the coffee gift for because they love coffee is a recover is has been through recovery uh for addiction and so the gym beam is not the idea for them so you always can get can't go wrong with like this like a juniors or a dunkin donut i'm sure other people thought about it it just didn't click with me until i got it home and went oh that's not a good idea for that person so and that's fine i got plenty of time but i have some other friends that i know and some work associates who will appreciate um the jim bean coffee so i just grabbed it so that i have extra for my team so i have a team of 14 that i need to think about and then randomly I found this Cleveland Browns hat. They had all different hats with different states and cities. I don't know if this was done intentionally orange and brown, but it works. I probably will send it to my brother. He's a Cleveland Browns fan. And the brand is Classic Tees Authentic Hat Collection State Souvenir. So these are state hats. Briss. Free co-op apparel, apparel, I don't know, knit beanies. But so they had state and city hats, but I found the orange and brown. It is, I'm assuming it is for the Cleveland Browns, but I thought that was really cool for $1.25. You don't often find um, like sports stuff at that price point. Also, one of my stores is selling decent paintbrushes. Now, I'm not painting anything particular right now, and I mean, I wouldn't paint my house or anything, but I will 100% use a Dollar Tree paintbrush for crafting. If I need to put some paint down or if I need to get, um, you know, something, oops, something painted in the craft world, I will 100% use a cheap brush and throw it away. So I just grabbed one because, just because. All right, what else did we find? Oh, I found some more of the black canvas. My one store had just a couple of these. So I love, I love doing white on black. And I thought maybe this, I could do um, maybe some type of a Christmas thing, but I'm going to see if heat transfer vinyl will work onto canvas with my press. So I don't know, but I grabbed a couple to try. If not, get the white paint out and have a good time. I know if I paint Mod Podge, I think over this, I would be, I think vinyl will stick. I'm pretty sure. Because I think I painted a canvas black, but you need that layer of paint. Oh, Sunday, today is associate 10% off day. But I, who has time for that? I do not. Um, I found this and I thought this was super interesting. Whether it stays as this or not is questionable. But I'm trying to, aha, uh -huh, here we go. So it's like a boho type thing. And then you have little clothespins you can attach. I'm assuming like at the bottom and hang pictures from this. I thought this was super fun. And if not, it's a really nice size dowel to do a million different things on. Or you can also make your own macrame on this and use this as your base. And that Dollar Tree does sell the macrame cotton. So I just thought together it's great, but it's parts and pieces could be fantastic for, for um, a small macrame something and Heck, I think I might even try to do something Christmas macrame, maybe. But anyway, for the dowel and the strings and the clippies, I just thought it was a great price point for a base, some type of crafting project. Who knows what it will be? At some point, I will know, and so then you will know. Right? Right. Um, same thing. I just got some sponge brushes because I was out. I love this for spreading glue. And... Um, Mod Podge and then I especially if I'm trying to glue like paint or paper or something down I like to do the glue let it dry a second put it on and this helps with bubbles and stuff so those are great um, I found this at one of my stores and I think it's fascinating it is a knife to cut pool noodles 
Like they are straight up advertising this as a pool noodle knife. It's, I feel like I've seen these before and you cut lettuce with them. <laughs> I don't know, I just grabbed it. I don't even have any pool noodles, but maybe one day I wanna cut pool noodles and I'll need a knife. And I thought it was fun to just show you. I, I did a pretty good jackpot. Um, at this Dollar Tree, they have the wood slices. Now they don't have the holes in them, but you could make coasters out of these, or if you have a drill or somebody with a drill or a hammer and a nail, you can put a hole in it and hang, make ornaments. And you get two decent sized wood slices for a dollar. They're all different, so you kind of just have to go through and figure out, um, you know, what size you think you would like. And I believe this is birch wood if I had to make a guess. It's not overly heavy and it doesn't say, but so I thought that's fun for like crafting ornaments, Christmas, anything really. Um, and then I grabbed two of these to do a Halloween thing with if I get to it before I go or when I get back, but I wanted to make uh, like a little Halloween something if I have time. So I grabbed those. And then these, they have a whole section now with like um, fancy push pins and office stuff. And these are, they have navy blue velvet on the top of these push pins. I think these would be great on a cork board, but let's be honest, if you were doing some type of upholstery with a, a blue, you could use those as upholstery pins, like decorative or anything really, but excuse me, I have the hiccups. So I think that was all of the crafty bits that I located whilst on my travels. And then I just have a couple more little things to share with you today. Like I said, my stores haven't had a bunch of great stuff, but enough. So I picked up just a couple more. I love these lemon pepper tuna. Um, they are so fantastic for on the go. They have the little spoon or a spork right here and then your tuna, lemon pepper. If you want and you have some little packets of mayonnaise, you can make tuna salad on the go. And I'm a busy lady and so I try to keep these on hand because they make fantastic meals. For me, I took one last, I made a sandwich last night with lemon pepper, a little mayonnaise and made a tuna sandwich on one of my wraps and took it to my work last night with me. Um, so we're getting into Christmassy gifty stuff. And so the last couple things are gift ideas. Um, if you have a friend with a pet, these are great Christmas gifts. You know, a little something, a little cat tree and a little toy. And it just says, I love your pet as much as you love your pet. These are for my brother's cats. And hi Luna. And I'm making them also, is it not for you? These are for the cats. I'm also making them little, I don't, have one around here my boys have plenty yes i do i knit them little mittens and little socks and i fill them with stuffing and or fiber fill no catnip i've been stuffing them with catnip and so like that would be a cute little treat for somebody a couple little toys and a treat for their cat i mean what and my brother has two cats so he he gets two they get two treats and these are my boys favorite and I will put a note to Murray and Mabel that Alex and Wellington these are their favorites which are dairy and catnip and then I'll make them some toys so that's Christmas for the, my brother's cats and then I found this Kiwi Botanicals I looked it up online people are trying to sell it on Poshmark it's at Walmart for six dollars and ninety nine cents but it is brightening Honey Melt Facial Cleanser with Manuka Honey. And it says, our brightening honey melt with New Zealand Manuka Honey and Totoro Extract revives dull looking skin to reveal a radiant glow. So it's face wash, right? So we all need that in our life. And you get a decent amount. Oh, it does, it acts like honey too. And then, to go with these, so I got two. I thought these would make great gifts. Um, I got a face scrubber in my hair. So I grabbed two of these Sassy and Chic, and I grabbed two boxes of the face cleanser. Um, and these are just the silicone face scrubbers. And I thought, what a fun little gift this would be for somebody. I have lots of people that I just give little gifts 
to, and I thought this would be perfect for that. So that is everything I purchased at my Dollar Trees this week. Like I said, it's been a little slow going. Um, I have started to see some new stuff come out like that facial wash. Here's my recommendation. It's always my recommendation. If you see it, buy it because it probably won't come back. Like those Christmas lanterns, I anticipate that I may not ever see them at that one store again. I may see them at another store, but don't wait for the holiday that's coming up. Like don't, because it's not even Halloween and they're throwing Christmas at us, don't wait if you see something that you want. Cause like I said, most likely you may not see it again. If it's something that you want. Sometimes I'm wrong, sometimes I'm right, I don't know, but I would hate for you to uh, see something and be like, well, I'll grab it the next time and then there is no next time. All right, everybody, well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I will talk with you later. Bye.